Yo, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with another video. Want to take you guys through all of the major PC game releases this week. And this is actually a fairly loaded week of a lot of game releases. You have a major AAA release, a sequel to a beloved game from a few years ago. You have a major free-to-play title, and you have a lot of lower-key games uh, rounding out the lineup, and a lot of those games look rather good. So this is a week where, even if you're not picking any anything up, a lot of titles to add to the wish list. So let's get started with Star Wars Jedi Survivor, which I would say is the biggest game release of the week. Jedi Fallen Order obviously came out back in the fall of 2019, and it was a very, very well-received game. Had a couple of shortcomings here and there, but overall, from a story standpoint, platforming, some of the puzzles I didn't love, but, you know, for the most part, the puzzles were fairly good. Visually, it looked great. Combat was great. It was just a really, really solid and fundamentally well-designed game. And now we have Jedi Survivor, and based on the gameplay we've seen thus far, it looks to really be an improvement upon just about every area from Jedi Fallen Order. I mean, this is a true next-generation title. No PS4 or Xbox One release. It'll look Great on PC, I'm sure of it. Do bear in mind, it's going to be a hefty, hefty install, so that is going to be something to, uh, something to consider, but that's why the preload is going to be kicking off on April 25th, so you'll have a couple of days to preload the title to make sure you're good to go come April 28th, but super excited for that. Finally, Respawn's Jedi Survivor will be out April 28th. Next up, we have a free-to-play title, Honkai Star Rail, a massively, massively anticipated title. Honkai Star Rail obviously is a game that I think those of you that played Genshin are going to be all over. Might not be something everybody enjoys. I know this is something that uh, the genre itself is just something that doesn't appeal to everybody. But if you like that anime aesthetic, and be something right up your alley. It's a new space fantasy RPG. Hop aboard the Astral Express and experience the galaxy's infinite wonders on this journey filled with adventure and thrills. Players will meet new companions across various worlds and even chance upon some familiar faces together. They will overcome the struggles called caused by the Stellaron and uncover the hidden truths behind it. Obviously, the game is going to have uh, some in-game purchases, to say the least, but, uh, you know, you can play the entire game for free as well, and if you're into turn-based titles, might be something you end up enjoying. It is going to be a free-to-play game, and it is available on the Epic Game Store. It has its own client as well. Pre-installations are live right now, so if you do want to install it, go ahead and jump on that as soon as possible. So come April 26th, you are good to go, and the game will just be, you know, a click away for you to start. As long as the servers aren't getting absolutely obliterated, let's hope that is the case. Moving on from that, another RPG, this one much of a much different kind, we have Live Alive. The Legend is Alive, Live Alive, originally only released for the Super Famicom in Japan, is being revived for Steam. Experience is legendary RPG brought alive in the same HD 2D visual style as Octopath Traveler. Now, this is a game that did come out on Switch last year, is received incredibly strongly over there, but finally it's making its way over to a PC as well. This game has you play as a plethora of different heroes, all in different time periods. So you have prehistory, the Wild West, Imperial China, Twilight of Edo, Japan, present day, the near future, and the distant future as well. Featuring remastered music from the original composer Yoko Shimomura, produced by Takashi Tokita, the director of the original game. This remake retains everything that players loved about the original, while also being accessible to newcomers on top of that. Live Alive is enjoying a launch discount as well. 20% off for $39.99. If you want it a little bit cheaper, I've mentioned it before, but our good friends at Green Man Gaming do have it. Uh, uh, even cheaper than that at $34, 15% off on top of the 20% off. So that is a great option. Uh, the initial $49.99 price tag is a little high, but given it has this launch discount, given you can get it even cheaper than that, I think at that price point, it is quite good. We got some more titles, some lower key titles that you guys might not be familiar with. First of all, Arc Runner, team up with friends or traverse the Arc Solo in a beautiful cyberpunk styled action roguelite as you attempt to re uh, reset an evil rogue AI experiment with different weapons and augments as you fight hordes of machines programmed for your annihilation, collect nanities, and power up after every run. Looks like this is going to be a super replayable game, stylish presentation. If you like that sci-fi cyberpunk look, going to be something right up your alley from an aesthetic standpoint. Battle through multiple zones, each with uniquely generated levels from the dystopian cyberpunk metropolis of the city to the luxurious Eden Heights with each level randomized. No two runs will ever be the same. Arc Runner is due out on April 27th. Next up, 
If you're remotely into Metroidvanias, and Metroidvanias with a great art style, After Image should be on your radar. Uh, this is a game that, from an art style standpoint, looks absolutely fantastic. A hand-drawn look, reveal the hidden secrets of a fantasy land in After Image, explore the magnificent landscapes and ruins of an ancient metropolis, meeting mysterious colossal beings and adorable roaming spirits along the way. The thrilling adventure of this marvelous 2D hand-drawn world awaits you. You'll have a variety of different enemies to fight with a variety of different abilities. Looks like it's going to be relatively fast-paced and platforming. Also at the heart of the game after image is due out on April 25th. Next up, we have Strayed Lights. Strayed Lights is another game that has a pretty cool look to it, uh, a vibrant look as well. Explore a dark world of rampant nature and corrupted cities, embody a tiny being of light on its path towards awakening, fight your inner demons, and restore your balance. More of an action title here with fast-paced action combat. Monsters pursue you across otherworldly regions of mist, tall trees, and luminescent ruins. Enjoy evocative boss fights with colossal shadow creatures gone rogue, as well as rhythmic duels with a variety of eerie creatures. Grow and ascend, build up a unique character that can harness energy to let loose a bold attacks, unlock new abilities, and grow from a tiny light to a pseudo mystical entity imbued with vivid powers. Straight Lights is due out for a release on April 25th. And lastly, I do want to even mention to The Last Case of Benedict Fox, which will be a game that drops day one on Xbox Game Pass, but obviously some of you guys do like to buy your games directly on Steam or other platforms. Take on The Last Case of Benedict Fox and dive into a twisted world of secret organizations, forbidden rituals, and cold-blooded murders. Explore the memories of deceased victims as you search for clues and fight demons in a fantastical Lovecraftian Metroidvania. You'll have elaborate puzzles in a labyrinth adventure inspired by Lovecraft's nightmare, noir, pulp fiction, and early 20th century jazz music. Another game with a cool look to it. Use your bond with the demon to explore the minds of the recently deceased in your last chance to get a testimony. Jump into surreal worlds where memories, emotions, and traumas take on a physical form and a grim mystery. Uncover the secrets of an old mansion where a couple has been found slain and their child has gone missing. Get drawn into a dark yet intimate intrigue that will have you face the family's demons both figuratively and literally. Literally, you do have combat with demon enhanced combat. Use your weapons, demon powers, and surroundings in creative combinations to overcome demons, monsters, and cultists. But remember, the concentration and tactical approach are your greatest assets. The last case of Benedict Fox is due out for a release on April 27th. Again, if you do want to play it through Game Pass, that option will be available. And that is going to do it for me. Again, I think a pretty loaded week of new game releases. Jedi Survivor definitely going to be at the top of everybody's interest. Honkai Star Rail, honestly, pretty close at that level. Given it's free to play, given the popularity of Genshin, I see this one being a pretty major title as well. Live Alive, something that I'm very much looking forward to, and a couple of other smaller titles. After Image, I think, looks fantastic, so that'll be on my radar as well as far as games I'll be playing in the relative near future. Other than that, probably a lot of wish lists for me. But that'll do it for me. Let me know all your thoughts in the comments section down below. As always, thanks for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Hey, what's going on, guys? Mush here again. Hope you enjoyed the video. As you guys might know, YouTube's notification system is sometimes a little bit wonky, even if you're subscribed to the channel. Maybe you're not abundantly aware that I uploaded a video to remedy that situation. Make sure you hit the bell notification button. This way, whenever I upload a new video and I try to upload as consistently as possible, you will be notified directly of the upload and you can watch it as soon as it goes live. I would really appreciate it if you guys hit that button so you can stay up to date with all of the the content I'm posting. But as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.